Hi guys on YouTube, it's Matty17 back again. I'm just introducing the Q-Flow, an RV or caravan or boat washer. So tiny, built for uh, people who want to put them on boats or in caravans or, you know, whatever. Just a very compact machine. As you can see, it sits on top of a normal machine um, quite well. It's got a two and a half kilo capacity, so the drum is minuscule. Um, the only thing I can compare it to is one of those um, mini washers that you um, attach to the wall, like a Deu. I think they're made by Deu. Um, and there's another one that I can't remember the name of, but the drum is minuscule. Quirky little feature is the detergent dispenser that's spilt into the door. Um, so this is just for liquids, obviously. Although the way that it fires the water in, it could almost flick powder out of there, but I wouldn't want to try it. It recommends putting powder in the drum. There is a fill jet up there, which you can see. Um, that's where the water comes firing in to this dispenser. So the drums, so the door is actually deeper than the drum, it seems. Um, but you can see it holds a bit of water in there. There's no actual softener dispenser or any other additive dispenser. It's literally just that. So if you want softener, then you have to wait until what you know is the final rinse and then pour it in there for it to dispense. But today, oh, I'll just show you the cycles before I start. So it's got a nice little startup tune. Um, so it's got six cycles, cotton, which runs at 40 degrees, quick wash, which runs cold, soft. I'm not sure how, what temperature that runs at because I haven't used that one yet. High temp, which runs at about 70 degrees. It says it's a boil, but it's not, it's about 70. Spin, um, spin speed is 700 RPM. And drum clean, which runs at about 70 again. Today we're gonna use the cotton wash. And I've just got like a day, couple of days worth of t-shirts, shorts, undies and socks and things like that. Just to, that's what you would want to run in this. So let me get loaded up and I will come back. All right, so we're back. Um, it is about half full. I probably wouldn't fill it much more than that, to be honest with you, because it's quite an, a shallow, uh, well, not a very wide drum. Um, but that's about as much as I'd really fill it, to be honest with you. You could probably ram it a bit more, but I think it affects the water levels if you do that. Interesting thing to note as well is it's just got a drain valve, not a drain pump. Um, so basically, you know, it's just this tiny, tiny little drain pipe here that just sits in the drain. And we'll just let the water flow out when it pops open the valve. So I've got a little bit of Persil liquid here that I'm just gonna pop in the dispenser and then we will get started. Of course I've managed to get it on top of the dispenser, that's just me, typical. So you can see the <laughs> liquid sits in there, it's actually quite cute. But we're just gonna run the cotton wash or the daily wash or however you wanna say it, but it's, what they call the cotton wash. It's 40 degrees, 48 minutes, three rinses, deep rinses. So let's go. Um, just to note as well, this is plastic. You can see it fires in in... Oh, wait until it stops. 
So you can see that it fires in impulses, very much like an LG filling. Oh, hello. And um, that's just so that it clears that, that dispenser and makes, you know, helps it siphon out. It's got an inverter motor, so it's very silent when it's, when it's running. Pardon the dog whining in the back. I've just cleaned the house and tidied up some of his toys, so he's wondering where they've gone. So you end up with, you know, a fairly decent wash level. Comes up to the, the rubber seal. It's got a good strong tumble on it. It does little random distri bursts, um, but I'm, um, I'm not sure if I'll catch them because they, they, they happen randomly. I haven't managed to time which part of the cycle they happen in. It starts heating pretty quickly. And it, you know, the, the heat on it must be tiny. Can't have a minute's peace in this house with them too. Back in a minute.
30. Interesting to note that it, it's actually got suction feet, so <laughs> did a little jiggle. So whatever it's sat on, it will suction to, which you know helps with the procedure installing it into a boat or something. I imagine because it would need to be stable while everything else is moving. So pretty cool. I didn't realise that until I tried to take it off the top of this washer and just about pulled my back out trying to get it off because it was suctioned on. Yeah, nearly at 40 now. But just for a, like, you know, if you're on the road, you just wanted to run through your clothes for the day, you just run a load every night of your clothes, to keep them clean you know you can hang them to dry perfect very convenient the heater just turned off i think yep So that took less than just under ten, just over ten minutes to heat. Oh. Spin can be a little bit fussy when balancing. Um, what I was happy to use this for, for just washing the king size fitted sheet that I have, because I have a king size fitted sheet, but we use an all in one comforter, so they get washed in separate loads. So it was really convenient just to be able to throw the, the fitted sheet in here and not feel too guilty about running a full size washer just for one sheet. <laughs> Um, but it was a bit fussy with balancing it.
There's the drain opening. So there is a little mechanical sound coming from the back of it. I don't think it's a pump. I think it's just a mechanism that's holding the valve open. It waits a while, um, I guess just to make sure that the tub is actually drained. I should probably angle this a bit better. I'll put it under one of those so that it's, that's better, so it can flow away better. Oh. Okay, that's, you can just hear the rest of the tub gurgling out. Might just um, swap to night vision. We are going to give a bit of balancing trash. Hopefully, it won't take too long. If I have to, I'll stop and come back when it's actually spinning. I'm gonna go for it. So we're just doing a long di oh no. So quiet. So if you had a boat or a um, caravan, then you'd be wouldn't it wouldn't yeah wouldn't get in the way of a conversation.
into that. So it does 700 RPM into spins. Fine, 700 RPM final spin. So does a little 500, does that little bit at sort of 400 or 300 and then zooms up to 700. And they're good long into spins as well, so you you know that they're getting a decent rinse. That was the valve closing. Very good rinse levels, as you can see. So overall, I'd be very happy to have one of these in a in a boat or a caravan. It'd be so useful. The fact that it's got a high temp wash, so you know that you can wash a couple of towels at a high temperature or whatever. Like, you know, it just takes away that that stress of having to go to laundromats and all that jazz. training again. So they're quite short rinses, but deep. Just heading into the final rinse now, so I'll pause it when it starts to fill and put in my little my little drop of softener.
finger at the ready. Just let that trickle through. Let it realise that the door can open. Flash, flash. There we go. too much for them but that's okay we go. I'm draining for final spin. Took a while to get going on final spin so I have to come back Just do a one minute anti crease. Why is this thing not having it tonight?
<laughs> there you go. It's cute. Very cute. Adorable. I'd be very happy with it if I was living in a caravan or something. But I'm quite happy with it at home, to be honest with you. Just for those little loads that you feel guilty for putting in a full-size machine. Anyway, thanks guys. See you later.